Hi, welcome to Patriot 2.0. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about BIOS at a beginner introductory level. What is BIOS? Well, first of all, if you're using a Mac, it's not quite the same thing as on a PC. It's a little different. Macs are built with a lot less configuration options. Now, sure, you can upgrade a Mac and you can plug extra features in and upgrade the RAM and things like that, but a Mac is not a PC. PC and Macs are different, and the difference in design offers different performance properties. So, BIOS, in the world of PC, when you have PCs everywhere, you have motherboard manufacturers, you have hard drive manufacturers, you have sound card, video card, all kinds of different manufacturers. In the world of Apple, there's only Apple. Apple is the manufacturer. They get their processors from Intel and we can tit for tat all day. But in the PC world, I can choose a video card from several different manufacturers. I can choose a motherboard from several different manufacturers. So with that being said, what BIOS is, is a little tiny operating system that lives on the motherboard itself. So when the motherboard powers on, the motherboard has to have a set of procedures to understand how much power it needs for its processor, how much RAM is being used, where to send all this data, all this information. Is there a video card? Is there a sound card? Um, BIOS is the motherboard brains or operating system. So your friend in BIOS is called Control Alt Delete. If you're used to Windows, you know Control Alt Delete is a backup function or uh, a maintenance function. In BIOS, you'll see right here I'm pressing Control Alt Delete and I'm just restarting my computer because you'll notice this blue line at the bottom of the screen or this white text at the bottom of the, of the blue screen there th says things like F9, boot menu. But you gotta watch fast for it. Alright? See, F10 was set up. Now every computer or PC is going to have this. Um, and on this laptop, you can't really see the the commands yet. What you have to understand is when you press this Control Alt Delete, this is BIOS resetting. This is how BIOS resets. So it's a it's a little hack function to tell BIOS to start over. Now, if Windows starts booting before or before you hit Control Alt Delete, you're going to kind of be stuck, and you're going to have to wait for Windows to boot and then restart. I do not recommend you just kill windows during a restart or a boot so that's this is how you find your bios you have to can this is what i do i just restart my computer over and over because when you boot your bios up it only gives you a half a second a second to look and see what the commands are and i mean it takes that long just to focus your eyes so i will sit there and restart my computer several times now different motherboards are going to have different BIOS commands. So it's not like you can just memorize F1 boots BIOS. You're going to have, if you have problems and it doesn't show, use the key swipe. That's a quick little hack to try to find your BIOS screen. So this is a more advanced BIOS and if you caught that, it said delete was to boot the BIOS screen. Now in this BIOS screen from a newer motherboard, I actually can use my mouse. But don't fret, I can click over to advanced mode and go back to the old style. So I'm going to go into advanced mode, which is basically the old style BIOS. And from here, I can either use the arrows to move left and right, or I can just use my mouse. Right here, I'm just using the mouse because I have the option to use the mouse. But the left, right, up, down keys will work just as well when choosing your options. Um, F10 saves, or you can click the save and exit feature. right? This Asus motherboard provides a lot of fun little options, a lot of easy tinkering. I'm able to easily overclock my processors and my RAM sticks and my all my goodies. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.